Okay, if you look way, way across the street over there, you'll notice a car that looks just like mine. That's because it is mine. Anyway, I was driving along minding my own business. And then I got stopped by a plant. I got pulled over. Plant said, hey, pull over, pull over, pull over. And I'm like, all right, all right, all right, all right. Anyway, I'm doing a job right now for a client of mine, Bill. What's up, Bill? Anyway, everyone's kind of looking at me weird. Anyway, so yeah, I'm doing a job for Bill. And I'm not going to say which Bill. There's a lot of Bills. So he, he'll remain anonymous. But uh, he's thinking about trying to block some views with palms. And I'm telling him that we should use a male Phoenix Dactylifera. And he's looking at images online. He's like, well, they look really open. I'm like, no, you're looking at the wrong ones. Uh, you know, you're looking at uh, the females. So the females get fairly skinny trunks. We're going to go up and take a close look. This one is just kind of partially trimmed. Okay, it's Oakland. They're not really taking care of the trees down here. Here's an entrance of them. They still look good, but not as good as they could look. Um, but that's a Phoenix Dactylifera right there. That is the type of date that you eat from a store. They grow those dates down in the Coachella Valley, or it's extremely hot, it's native to Algeria. They discovered long ago they could grow them there and get the heat component they need to ripen the fruit. You'll get fruit here, uh, but it won't really ripen up and it won't taste that good. It'll taste like an apple. Uh, we have some of these in our parking lot so you can see them. But anyway, uh, this is a really good illustrative point. The differences between male and female, because I am lucky enough to have males across the street. So remember what this looks like, right? You know, it's a nice big head, but you can see through it a bit. It'll provide 60% blockage visually. Oh, probably, let's measure how far across it is. You gotta make sure we don't get run over today. But uh, let's see, it extends all the way to here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. That's like 28 to 30 foot spread. That's a big spread. All right. Well, I think that we've talked enough about that. This is also a variety called Deglect Muir, and it, it has a more open canopy to it than some of the other varieties. I really like a variety called, uh, oh my gosh, what is it? The silver one, Medjool. Love it. And so, as you can see here, and I will stand up with a very beautiful fountain that I'm surprised is still running in Oakland, because it's Oakland, you know. Um, and uh, there over across the street is a male, way more robust, way more, but look, I got 11 seconds left, 10, 9, 8, 7, does he see me, does he see me, does he see me, I don't know, I don't know, 5, 4, 3, oh, I made it, survived another one, here we go, I don't know what this line is, but I'm going to stay away from everybody, uh, this is a male, that's a male Phoenix Dactylifera, it looks a lot like a canary palm, and uh, has a very thick trunk, very robust. You can see how much it blocks. It blocks a ton once it fills out. It's a very different tree, even though it's the same species. They're very rare because the females comprise 99% of the population because those, uh, those are the ones that make the fruit, right? But what do you need to make fruit? <laughs> right. A man and a woman. Uh, at least last I checked. So, and in this case, you have females. Uh, males. These are extremely frustrated trees because there's a really busy street that separates them. Look at that. There's a whole group of girls over there and there's like three or four guys over here and they must be so frustrated. Uh, I know I would be. So anyway, uh, let's get a little closer without violating anyone's personal space or getting run over. Yeah, we've got a free spot here. So you can see about that the mailbox for scale there. It is a uh, these trees are probably close to three foot in diameter on the trunks uh, as you go up and they get very dense. They haven't really been trimmed right here, but that's all right. But you can see it has a beautiful diamond pattern cut on these, really striking. And uh, those are the male flowers up there. They only make uh, pollen that blows across the street and teases and sometimes, need I say, impregnates the females over there so but they've been cutting off all the seeds so I'll, so they're basically preventing uh you know that from happening so uh, anyway that's the whole story uh i don't really know look at the see it's a really dense shade look at the shade super dense under here it's really dark under here and it's because these trees are so thick so much thicker than the uh so much thicker than the uh, regular females 
across the street. And I think I'm gonna get out of here before I wear out my welcome with this line of people.